people this is my new video on the uh, ICO model 377 signal generator which came from the uh, Wichita Public Schools USD 259 my last video I was uh, I was a bit incorrect about how this thing operates this tube this uh, tube right here is the action this tube right here which was originally a 6SJ7, I switched it out to a 6SK7 is the uh, is the main oscillator tube and it's connected to a wing bridge which this control right here is used for fine adjustment of the wing bridge of the oscillator and the wing bridge this tube here is the um, preamplifier this uh, this is a 6J6. I'm going to replace this tube later on because, as you can see, this thing has a good amount of filament boil off. This 6X5WGT rectifier is also new. This is a uh, an industrial grade 6X5, which is highly recommended for anyone who has an instrument or anything else that uses a 6X5. right here this uh, this was originally a 6SM7 this is now a, a 6BK7 which I swapped out for the 6SN7 this is a little more robust for the 6SN7 and it works very well in this application even though it uses twice the filament current and if I turn it on right here you can see you watch this thing warm up see the uh, very large cathode plates on this tube and they glow pretty much red hot when it's operating and the output tube right here the 6k it's a this is a 6k6 the original was a 6j6 this is the audio output tube which is coupled through this through this capacitor into the output. So now this this unit is operating right now and right there is a uh, 440 Hertz sine wave that's middle A on the musical scale. We have 1000 Hertz. And 2000 Hertz. I could go a little higher than this. But I, but I don't know how well this phone would be able to pick it up. Or at least I could try. Go on the band C. Six kilohertz. Ten kilohertz. All the way up to twenty K, which he which the speaker doesn't reproduce very well. But there you go. Now I pull out the schematic. Be right back. Now here is the schematic of the uh, electronic instrument company number 377 audio generator. And right here is your main oscillator tube. This is the uh, variable capacitor right here. And the there's a tremor the trimmer capacitor which is connected to this here it shows it as um, C1 right here this is the uh, trimmer capacitor for the uh, fine adjustment of the output and this uh, circuit right here 
and this is your band selection all these resistors right here this forms a type this uh, circuit right here just past just right right here forms a type of voltage controlled oscillator known as a wing bridge and it is stabilized by this lamp and this um, oscillator in this resistor I mean is used this variable resistor is used to control the uh, the plate one of the uh, grids of the uh, of the 6SJ7 or 6SK7 in this case so it can so you can adjust the uh, operating parameters of the of the oscillator tune it up so it's running stable or so it's running stable <laughs> right here is your first right here coupled through this capacitor we go into the um, the preamplifier which is a 6K6. I think there's actually a 6J6 in there right now, but that calls for a 6K6. And right here, this is your um, chopper circuit. This is a 6SK, this a 6BX7, which replaces the 6S in, the 6SN7 in this circuit. This is a uh, this is a chopper similar to a multi vibrator actually in operation and these two and these uh, these correspond to the switch on the front panel which is used to select the sine wave or square wave when it's set to square wave it this tube <laughs> is used to chop the signal at the peak at the peak and trough of the sine wave to produce a square wave and then it passes through a another variable resistor which controls the output it uh, it's coupled through this capacitor into one of the grids of the final tube which is a 6k6 then it goes into this uh, 20 microfarad capacitor which is right here well, if you can see it in the video it's right there and a 10k loading resistor across the output the ground and this is your output and this is right here is your power supply and this tube right here which is a which in a lot of applications is a is a um, is a trouble tube it's really considered a trouble tube at least in the older tube designs because they have been known to um, to have filament the cathode shorts and destroy the filament transformer. And this choke right here, I don't know where it is right now, but this choke right here and these two capacitors uh, are somewhat look. It looks like here that it's actually dividing down the voltage a little bit. So you have this uh, 290 volt output that goes in that uh, that is your uh, B plus for all of the stages of this of this audio generator. Well, this is the this is the ICO 377 signal audio generator, and thanks for watching.